Boom, there we go. Yes, probably. Okay, I'll... You might be in another game like, right now, but it, would, it definitely would be worth asking. Okay. You had a really good match against when Carter, when Carter's out of bracket, I don't think there's PM today. So. It'll be relatively soon. I've been told her to step up. Oh. Well, I uh, missed you. You've been playing fighting games. I I've been playing fighting games. It made me realize how much I cherish our relationship. I'm hey. not mad anymore. Hey, look at that. Nature's healing. Yes, and we both won a set against each other and today. we both won a, a, a mega grand. We kind both of, won a... You know, one was every, official. But, yeah, one was, yeah, one was official. The other was more important. Because it was, was cooler. off the books. Yeah, but it was, it was a little cooler. Not, not to pull up people saw it even. But, yeah. But, you know. But, uh, as some spectators, there was... There was uh, digital footage of it. Like, uh, I think Lauren was taking pictures of us. So. Oh, and that parry? Good parry, because only, only the first hit's going to get there. That down smash is going to put Mithra way off stage, going to go for the side oh, beat. Oh, and the side beat. That's... Is that new? Oh, doing a little new. shuffle. Doing the Pikachu shuffle. Top tier shuffle. <laughs> Good spacing there. The just the standard one fox trot in is not gonna not gonna do it. But Pink Bomb 91 fighting back here until a little until he gets caught in the corner and Pikachu it's puts time the to, work on. It's time to do the Pikachu. Pikachu loops. Pika, Pikachu looping. Ooh, short on the grab. All the fozies duping. Catch him. <laughs> Interesting new pyro switch. In. I feel like it's premature. Yeah, I mean, sometimes he, I feel like when Pink Bomber gets kind of stuck on the Mithra, he just kind of flips it over and plays a slower game that's more like big swing, make you play around yeah. the big swing. Ooh, our close. And, uh, and he's, you know, Pyro's a slightly harder to edge guard in terms of the, the upbeat itself. Oh, yeah. Good, Whoa, good, good catch there. The up smash killed at like 80. Yeah. I think it was poor DI too because Nadia kind of shook his head. And it looked like he went straight up too. Yeah, like it did look like he went side. straight up. It's still doable. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that could have been it. That was so, got interrupted. That was so funny. This, oh, get, get me out of there. Get me out of there. He's got to swing for the fences here. Pink Bombo if he wants yeah, to make anything he, happen. He needs some big money plays. Yeah, no, that'll be it, here. yeah. <laughs> That's going to be game one. We got him back. Thank God. We missed him. Give me my, give me my creds. I just took them off like one oh, minute ago too. So you're fuming. Yeah, I'm so salty. But it's easy. It is easy. I'm never changing my Twitter. And God life. And God life is a. Very good Twitter. <laughs> it's iconic, bro. Everyone knows it or they wish they knew it. <laughs> so true. So true. <laughs> oh, Quick. interrupt the upbeat with nuke? That's uh, just a kind of like a force of habit neutral get up there. He sees the enemies far away and just thinks he can neutral yeah. get up and react to a shield, but the side B comes out and it just catches him lacking a little bit. Speaking of nuke, that's where we're at. We're kind of in the nuke right now. These players about 15% away from each other. Now, little string going. Pink Bumbo looking to make something out of this corner here. Now it's Nadia's turn. Dash attack and do something big. Pyra's out. Ooh, off gonna, stage situation. Gonna recover way down low, and yeah, it's not Juicy gonna pan down out. Oh, he's gonna get there. Angles out. Cole lets out a little. Cole pops out for that little one. Bit. Yeah, he's like, he's fucking, these Pyra grands are free. <laughs> Give me these Pyra Mithra grands. Let this dumbass Pika shit get that out of here. There's beef. There's lots of beef. There. Wait, John Reaney's here? Jacreen's John Reaney? Which one am I? Yeah. Uh, I'm from the village of the prairies. 
He said he's from. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Hopefully he ignores me. It doesn't ask again. No, he's coming right over. Yeah. Oh, and that, that's it. Yeah. Fuck. Just tears him off stage. Low percent death. Yeah. Very good to see you, John. How you doing? Good to see you too, brother. I'm good. I'm good. I remember holding that flight stick for you in my home. I was taking such good care of it. You were the one that looked after it? Yeah. I thought it was Paul this whole time. Yeah, he gave it to me. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm glad you looked after it because now it's in better hands. Nice. <laughs> now it's in better hands. That I was so scared I, I was going to break it and I was then you were going to break me. Did you send Zach to Brazil? No. Fuck. <laughs> I no, I sent Mux to Brazil. Good job beating Ralph, yeah. yeah. Was it with a uh, ditto or a With a ditto. Nice! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Did you hear Carter won Melee today? Yeah, I'm really proud of him. I can't believe it's his first win. Yeah, it's that's kind of insane. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> I've heard that so many times in the last couple of weeks and it's always surprised me from like, yeah. different people. Yeah. Like everybody's winning their first tournament. Yeah. Yeah. The grinders, the slippy yeah. grinders. Gotta love Jeremy it. Jeremy won Zerv for the first time. I fucking was surprised. Let's I was go. like, what the hell? How'd they do it? <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I've seen them win all the time. And while we were away, Pink Pombo making a pretty big, substantial yeah. comeback. I'm thinking yeah, he's some of these arrows are gonna start killing pretty soon. But and I think he's, I think he's just gonna probably stick with the pirate here, like try and get two swings. Yeah. Out. Oh, and that'll be it. That's now, it, now there's like, big. now oh. it's like some smash attacks. Maybe even the back air is gonna start killing. Oh, that, that dash attack didn't that really close to killing. Yeah, that was bad. Dash attack, down smash, things to look out for. There, barely missing. Oh, and he wanted the up tilt. Like he, he knew it wasn't a jump too. Man, this is this is getting tight. With this rage, I think F tilt might start killing in the corner. I would agree. I would agree. Gonna run away from that side B oh. jump. He's gonna get caught by the bear. He's bear, going way down. Low. Gets back. Oh, oh that terrible. was a bold side B. Oh, and now he's really, now he's really kill percent and that. Yeah, there it is. I got excited. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> My fans, I've disappointed. One one. One to one. Now. Correct me if I'm wrong here, or just... You gotta go, bro. I gotta go? Yeah, you got called for Nazba. Oh, Fuck this bootleg PM shit. Bring me back to You can't play PM. You gotta play this dumb shit instead. I miss P+. Plus. Alrighty. Looks like we're hopping into game three. It's just me this time. We'll make it work. Let's go. Tony! Yeah! that down tilt so low and he's not even going to be able to recover. That's Pikachu we're talking about, man. It's a brutal angle. Pink Bombo with the stock lead here. Going to try and just swing with Mithra, keep him away and maybe get a little bit of percent. Like that forward. That thunder is going to be heavily punishable. Quick 25 and he's in the air. That down smash going to lead to a little bit more. The F smash almost connecting there. Waiting for someone to DI that in. Just one person. Oh, Saibi gonna catch him on the two frame there or high, I don't actually know. He went high. Okay, he's at a pretty dangerous percent now. Uh, up here though, real sneaky, just got it right in there. And the up he's gonna almost kill. Send him cross stage. The whole way is the whole nine yards. Grab Pikachu, it's gonna be an F throw. He's way out there. He's gonna switch to Mithra. Thought Saibi was coming, but the air dodge came out instead. A little Nooch and the back air not gonna kill. Gonna opt for the up B. And up air is not killing either. He's just. <laughs> Ping Bombo taking every single little bit out of the stock, and he's actually gonna get another. And if he can get something on this, like, oh jeez. Down throw, up air. We're on to Pyra. 
That's the oh, and he's still living. I thought that was a star KO. <laughs> Triple jab. Yeah, that's the thing about Pyramithras. Just with all those moves, you can just create this momentum. That's like a, it's like a high speed train. You just can't catch up to it. It's insane. Yeah, I know that F tilt's finally gonna take it now. Probably gonna switch over to Mithra here. And uh, it's a little near and a fair action. He's safe on that Smashville platform. Good shit. That's a good option. A little up B for some percent. Nadia at 86 now, looking to just make anything happen. Pyra's out. Down air. Reads it and just doesn't get the right timing. Up B is going to kill. Oh no. Shouldn't have been so quick to think that. Side B puts him up nice and high. Another side B. SKL4 vibes. Side B's gonna put him way out there. Aggressive recovery because that side B was out, he couldn't really do too much. Big fair, send him way across the stage. That side B, get hit with another of those, eventually it's gonna kill. Little Oost comes out from the crowd. Other than Mux playing NASB. Bumbo up 2 1 here in the winner's semis, looking to face Cole in winner's finals. You'll have to see how it goes. Cave. Definitely something I think that benefits Pikachu. Those T Jolts can just run the whole stage. We're a pretty safe perch up top. But what's this momentum that Pink Bombo has? It doesn't really seem to be sta uh, staving at all. 2 1 for Pink Bombo 91. We're joined by some special guests here in the crowd. Really pleasant to see some of them. It only makes this winter semis match that more exciting. Downer up smash not quite going to connect, but that up B is going to not lead to a punish. Wow, I think Naughty's just kind of rattled from that last game, kind of dropping that easy stuff that he's used to getting. That up air is going to get extended by the T Jolt and end up getting hit. Offensive recovery, Downer is going to hit it, and now he's threatening with these double jumps here. Side B is going to come out, going to hit him. Another side B from up high. Down tilt. And a side B, way up there, so it's not too in the danger zone. We're just nooches at a double roll distance. Parries and grabs, huge mash, down throw, gets over the side B. F tilt's coming out. Just so much pressure from King Bomb 91 here. I think that combined with kind of a bit of the pressure of the huge uh, kind of steamroll that was game two, uh, make, or game three, I should say. Uh, makes this just kind of extra tough for Nadia here. And with Pikachu, you have all the tools to come back, all the tools to to shift the momentum in your favor, but without that confidence from the man behind the sticks, it can be very difficult. And every every moment you look back at this, uh, Pink Bomb is controlling center stage. He's the one closest to center stage at all times, just working like a hard nine to five. Leaving center stage, going out, doing a big overextension, or a big extension, I should say. And then coming right back home. Meanwhile, Pikachu is just kind of doing laps around the whole stage here, trying to do anything. And he's almost just kind of giving it up now. He's just trying to make something happen on the outsides. Pink up a whole stock, basically, and that side he's going to put him up. Another one coming out. Back air out of shields, gonna poke. He side beast to the right, ends up losing his stock, but he's got a comfortable enough lead that then honestly wasn't too much of a loss. Here come the back airs. Oh, just got the one. 
Yeah, you probably know something we don't. What's negative, what's positive, all that. A little landing nooch. Just gonna try and cover that neutral get up. Gets the right uh, option, but just doesn't quite get it at the right time. There, now Nadia getting a reader too. Doesn't really get the string he wants though, jeez. Epsil's gonna take it. Now, with Mithra here, I think this is the right play. You just wanna stack on as much damage as, get, as you can. Get him to 60, get him to 70, maybe switch over to Pyra and start swinging for the fences if that stock's still around. But I mean, regardless, with with the, with the stock and, and some, you have a lot of room to work with at the pace you wanna work at. It's only at 16 and he's decided to switch over. Figure this Rage might give him a little bit of an edge here. Or just, you know, a little playstyle switch. That's always, that works too. Doesn't quite get the roll there. Yeah, just not. He's not really hit much of anything right now. Can't be feeling good if you're him. A good grab there. Kind of reads that ultra defense option there. This percent is so ridiculous though for Pink Bombo. Like so much stuff. He's gonna start killing out because he's a max rage. Oh, that's scary. And it's just gonna be like big damage, right? Like if you're a Naughty fan, if you're one of the Naughty fans in the audience, you just can't be happy about this because this could be the, uh, the game right here. This next swing he takes, you never know. Runs in on him and makes him pushes him into it, his shield a little bit. That up air is gonna take it though on it. Not amazing DI, but definitely not bad DI. Yeah. Body trying to make some some ground up here. 42% on Mithra. This is his chance that Nooch comes out and that side B is going to catch the ledge again. It's just incredible for doing that and that up tilt is going to take it. 3-1 for Pink Bombo. Good stuff nonetheless. That was a pretty fun set to watch. We got BZ and Vito happening on the other side of the menu.